I don't know if anyone told you about me. I'm a new student here. My name is Katie here. Talk to me again and I'll kick your ass. Can you guys believe that Mean Girls came out 11 years ago? Although maybe someone should tell that to Lindsay Lohan's face, am I right? Yeah. God, now that I'm looking at that, are we sure it's only been 11 years? Well, let's not dwell on a decade's worth of poor choices and squandered opportunities, and let's dive into an extra mean episode and run down seven things you didn't know about Mean Girls. Probably. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. You know how Amy Poehler plays Regina George's mom in the movie? Well, you probably didn't know that based on their real life ages, Regina's mom is actually only seven years older than she is. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. That's right, Amy Poehler and Rachel McAdams were, and actually still are, only seven years apart in age. Plus, even though Regina and Katie are in the same grade, Rachel McAdams and Lindsay Lohan are a full eight years apart in age. Lohan being the younger one in this case, which, again, is news we seriously need to get to Lindsay Lohan's face. ASAP. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Hey, here's the thing you might not have known. That's a wig. That's right, Regina George's long flaxen tresses are a wig, which Rachel McAdams wears for the entire film. McAdams' own hair was too short at the time for what production needed, and more importantly, what Regina needed. Hey, there is no shame in Regina's wig game. This is a very convincing hairpiece unlike a lot of the ones we see in Hollywood. I'm talking to you, John Travolta. So fetch. Mean Girls has a lot of similarities to other high school movie classics, and one of the most obvious ones is Heather's from 1988. Grow up, Heather. Believe me, so 87. But most people don't know that the relationship between Mean Girls and Heather's is a fairly literal one. Mark Waters directed Mean Girls, while his brother, Daniel Waters, wrote Heather's. So the next obvious step is for them to do a mashup sequel together called Mean Heather's 2 Electric Boogaloo. Sadly, that obviously will never happen. But there is supposed to be a Mean Girls Broadway musical in the works. Nobody like me. I'm the meanest girl in the history. So that's something. Mean Girls wound up with a PG-13 rating, but it was meant to be a lot raunchier than it is. Whoa. The filmmakers had to make a lot of sacrifices with the script because the MPAA gave them such a hard time. For one thing, the line, is your muffin buttered, was supposed to be much more risque and much more on the nose. Originally, the line was, is your cherry popped? And that girl who made out with a hot dog? Oh my god, that was one time! Well, originally she was supposed to have masturbated with a frozen hot dog. After all, I'm not sure how you make out with a hot dog. But I for damn sure know how to fuck one. No explanation, next thing. Despite not really being a character in the film, Glenn Coco is definitely a favorite reference amongst Mean Girls fans. Glenn Coco? Fall for you, Glenn Coco! You go, Glenn Coco! What you probably don't know is, there's a real Glenn Coco. He's a friend of Tina Fey's from home. And the guy who plays the back of Glenn Coco's head is also, of course, real. And his name is David Real. And he's on Twitter and everything. So there. Remember how Mr. Duvall wears that cast for his carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, that only ended up being written into the script because Tim Meadows really had to wear that cast all throughout filming. He had broken his hand just before starting Mean Girls. So I guess things really were rough on the South Side. Hell no, I did not leave the South Side for this. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy? Regina George is a sociopath. She's evil, she's manipulative, she's cruel, and she's based on Alec Baldwin. What? Okay, okay, not really, but kind of. Mean Girls director Mark Waters had Rachel McAdams watch Glen Gary Glenn Ross in preparation for her role as Regina George. Specifically, he wanted her to take note of Alec Baldwin's performance, like in the famous Always Be Closing speech. You hear me, you fucking faggots? You know, I'm definitely seeing the similarities now. Oh, you know another Alec Baldwin thing that would have been good inspiration for Regina George? So I'm gonna let you know just how I feel about what a rude little pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig, okay? On that note, let's wrap this up. If you have another high school movie that you'd like us to cover, leave your nominations down in the comments. You know, clueless, dazed and confused, stuff like that. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Cinefix.com and subscribe for more truish things about movies, and sometimes the right way to f a hot dog right here on Things You Didn't Know.